My life went from, you know, partying, drinking, making baseball my god, to Christ being everything for me and my heart changing completely. I'm Tell Taylor. I'm a fourth year baseball player here at UW-Milwaukee and uh, I want to share with you a little bit about my story. So after a few years battling injuries here at UW-Milwaukee, uh, back injuries repeatedly that uh, really injured my performance and hindered my abilities to play, I needed something to turn to. After a few weeks of wrestling with purpose and answers for my life, some of my roommates actually invited me to Athletes in Action to a Bible study. And at that Bible study, it was the, the first time I really heard the gospel. And after a few weeks of wrestling with the gospel, I actually came to Christ and surrendered my heart. Now that I've become a follower of Christ, God's really given me a heart for sharing with others. And I've actually been able to share and reach with uh, Neil, someone who's part of Athletes in Action. He's been a really big part of my development and my understanding of the gospel and how to reach others. Hello, buddy. How you doing? How are you, man? Good. Since the beginning of the school year, I've been able to meet up with Tell every Wednesday morning. Uh, we get into the Word together. A lot of times we've been able to meet up with some of his other teammates um, to hear about their spiritual background. And we've been able to share the gospel with a lot of his teammates this year. It's been really exciting. And two of those guys are actually Chaz and Mike. Not good. Yeah. Yeah. At 10 o'clock. Cam what? After I sat down with you guys, like, I started to see sin like in day-to-day -day life. Like I could see where I was making mistakes where I wasn't before. And so like it like it is eye opening how much I was trying to do it my way. Like how much I trusted myself more than, than God and how much I really needed to turn to him and just trust him and how much that really changed my life. The very next week Tell and I got to meet with another one of his teammates, Chaz Schmidt. Uh, the gospel was falling on fresh ears. It was the first time Chaz had ever heard about Jesus and why he died and why he came and, and that he needed to put his trust in Christ and, and to follow him. There was a picture or like a circle with a life without Christ and there was a picture with a circle that had life with Christ and Neil always asked me where I was after each session and I always kept saying I was in the middle because I felt like I didn't have enough experience and then after a few times, he, he asked me again, and I said I was, I moved on to the next circle, and that was pretty much the day that I really believed in Christ and followed Him and wanted to walk with Him. My confidence level has gone way up, mostly because I'm not there trying to impress Coach anymore. I'm not, not worrying about what they think or what the other guys on the team are thinking or this, the audience. It's more or less me just trusting in God and believing in God that He'll let me work to my full potential, and he's my only audience, so as long as I'm doing my best, it's not, it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. Yeah, before each game, Tell says we do a little prayer in the outfield, and Tell always, almost every game, he says, we're playing for you, our audience of one, mm -hmm. and in your name we pray. And like that just kind of solidifies what Chaz just said, like, when you go out in the field, you're only playing for him. I'm so thankful that God saved Tell last year. It's been such a joy to meet with him and help him grow in his faith. And I honestly don't think without Tell and his relationships with the other guys on the baseball team that we would have been able to share the gospel with nearly as many of his teammates. Well, I don't know what the rest of my life's gonna look like, where it's gonna go, what I'm gonna do. I could be playing baseball, I could be working a nine to five, but uh, whatever that is gonna be, I know it's going to be exciting to walk with Christ. I'm extremely grateful he's opened my eyes and my heart to him and everything he has to offer me. So regardless of what happens the rest of the way, I know I can be confident in putting my life in his hands.